things is actually, I'm kind of pointing out binaries because I think we need to spell them. We need to get that shared language you're talking about. And one of my roles, I'm in the business of problem solving. I'm looking for that, and I, I'm really interested in finding out from some of the 70% or so of people here on the design side some stronger tools and more rigorous ways I can do that. Um, so, uh, move on. Um, so, if we start with the problem in this case, um, so we have an aging population in Camden. Um, also, Ali earlier talked about um, us having a lot less money. Uh, those two things together mean that in a few years we will have pre consultancy services. We're not there yet. So we need to find a way to stop people needing statutory services. It's the kind of simple way of doing that. Um, the population increase uh, over <coughs> of people aged over 50 in Camden is likely to go from 54,000 now to about 67,000 uh, by 2031. So that's a huge increase of people. That's growing faster than anywhere else in London. Um, and it has been for about five years already. So it's a huge demographic shift that we often lose. Um, of that 54,000 people, this little graph here with the two circles, only 3,000 or so receive support directly from the council. Um, so what we need to look at is all the things um, that happened before that that make you more likely to receive support. So if you become isolated, if you live alone, if you have bereavement, if you have health conditions, you're more likely to become one of those 3,000. And then we can think about what can stop you. So what can stop you to live better lives for longer? So there's a financial thing there about um, the cost of statutory services, but there's also a, a much more important moral thing about supporting people to live well. Um, so in terms of thinking about what a new option might look like, and this isn't as pretty as the slides we've had earlier, because it's been done in Microsoft Word, but you know, <laughs> hopefully the concepts will work. Um, so the light blue box, which says the 50 plus project, is the new thing. That's what I was looking to develop. Um, so the arrow at the top kind of talks about the level of need of people. So as you have a higher level of need, you go down to targeted prevention services and social care services. So you get these more intense interventions, but relatively late in the pathway. Um, and these interventions don't necessarily talk that well to all the rest of the stuff in Camden. So sometimes people talk about service land, where you receive services, and kind of the rest of the economy. Um, and I think what's interesting here is that this project needs to combine between the two. So it's about making the best of all the stuff in Camden. I won't talk through the outcomes, but we started from saying these are the outcomes, this is the difference we want to make on the left hand side. Now the problem is if you go from wanting to serve 3,000 people, maybe a few more through prevention, to saying we want something that anyone can access, uh, your financial model becomes difficult. Um, so we had to kind of shift that time from thinking we pay for stuff that people do to can we sell something that people want and that has a good impact. So it's a completely different type of financial arrangement here. Um, so doing stuff that people want, it's a bit of a strange concept for councils maybe. Um, so how would we do that? So we need to link up with all the great stuff that's going on in Camden anyway that isn't provided by us, so we need to make, take advantage of the stuff that's going on. We talked to a, a bunch of older people about this uh, before we did it, um, and they told us that um, there are many things going on within how to access them, or they don't have people to do it with, um, and we also know lots of our cultural centres, theatres, cinemas aren't used in the day. Um, now, obviously as you get older you might like to have more spare time in the day, it's the way we work. Um, we did some stuff with a graphic facilitator with all the people that's moved to the membership organisation. Um, these are the types of things they said, and we're going to talk through them. This process was quite iterative, um, and then we didn't start with a solution, we developed a solution together. Um, and then um, the, third the third group of this is uh, providers, because we weren't going to do this ourselves. 
Um, so we outlined a statement saying what we were looking for. It had to be aspirational. Our investment was 300k, but then it needed to be sustainable after that, so we needed to stay in the community. Um, and it can't look like a traditional council service. We talked to providers lots, we linked providers and older people up to talk together, and then we met with people one on one to look at financial models. Um, and then we read the statement. So again, it's iterative. Um, now, one of the challenges with design linking with councils is that we have procurement processes that make it hard to prototype and do some of the stuff that you'd naturally do. And it was a real challenge here. Um, we questioned with this some of the traditional ways we did procurement, but we still had to go through that process. So we didn't exclude anybody based on the size of their organisation or what they'd done before. We didn't exclude people. Uh, we didn't have a focus on price, we had a focus on quality and sustainability, so it's a different emphasis. And we asked people to submit a business plan and present to older people who would then judge their, their ideas. And what did we come up with? Keep it as launching in January, so we don't quite know yet. But this is what we think it's going to look like. Uh, this branding's from last week, so it's really new, um, and it's a collection of voluntary sector organisations that have set up a new social enterprise working with people and businesses to offer something new. Uh, you can read what they'll offer, um, and I'll take questions. Hey, um, Andrew Patterson from Camden as well. Um, just picking up on the kind of the diversity point um, within Camden, and I was particularly thinking of income diversity because the over 50s, you imagine, you either got people in massive houses they own in Hampstead or a lot of our social tenants. So how did you kind of bridge that or is this kind of aimed at one of those groups in particular? Um, it's aimed to be a universal offer um, and in fact the, the 50 plus thing is conceptual rather than anything. We're not going to stop people doing it if they're 40. Um, we still have to see how that works. Um, so what we're looking to do is on a neighbourhood basis. Um, to gain members and look to offer something that works in that location and then to have members selling it to each other. So we think that gives a way of engaging with different communities, different income. Uh, the core sort of membership offer will be five pounds a month. So it's about the cost of a paper per week. Um, so I don't think that excludes too many people, but at the same time, at the moment, any extra spending is difficult. So that's the conundrum we need to see how that works out. To, to be successful, we need about 4,000 members after three years.